Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Talking Tunes with Sean, your everything music podcast and listening show. Everything from music, album news, music news in general, uh, concerts, concert news, concert memories, um, CD releases, music questions, everything. Everything, music, all in one stop, one shop, place, right here on Mary NJ08. Today's episode is a special one because today we are talking about music releases coming up. New album uh, release information that I've actually been waiting for. Two that I've been highly, highly anticipating more information on. And one that kind of came out of nowhere. Um, that was a surprise, but two specifically, I've been really, really waiting for, for information. Well, we got it today. So, or within the past few days. So let's cut to my face cam. Hey, what's up guys? How are you? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing fine. I have been bombarded with music news lately. That's why I had to make one of these, especially specifically um, hard rock and metal music releases. And I'm not, not just talking about the ones I'm going to talk about today. I'm talking about just in general. Um, I've been listening to so much new music lately. I'm talking everything from underground to many genres of music. I have been listening to so many new bands. Some new bands and some new for me and some new music from bands that I've been listening to for a long time. Um, the hunger and ever going adventure of finding new music never ends. And 2020 is a fucking banger of a year from, from metal. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know what I'm going to do this year when I do album of the year. I really don't. Uh, there's going to be some close ones and we're only in August. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's a good problem to have. There is some freaking great metal albums, hard rock and metal, and other genres as well. I, I've been listening to other genres, trust me. Um, there's been a lot of releases for that too, but I'm specifically right now talking about rock, a hard rock and metal. Of course, metal is so, you know, diverse with the genres inside of metal. Um, and there's been so many bands doing their own thing, and, you know, I've been really listening to so much, I've been listening to so many new releases, it's like every time I listen to an album, it's something different, it's hard to spin the same thing over and over, because I, I have so much to listen to, I get like a backlog, well, what I'm going to talk about right now is CDs that we know more information on finally, and then I'm going to talk about Albums that we know are coming out, but we don't have information on them yet. And then I'm going to talk about what I have been listening to uh, behind the scenes. Some, anyway, because I've been listening to a ton. Let's get right to... Um, let's get right to... My desktop. And as you can see, Marilyn Manson. So what had happened with this is that I've literally been on his Twitter every day waiting for this information because I knew it was coming. I've been, throughout 2019, I've been waiting for information on this album. And he had said in December of 2019 that it was going to be an early 2020 release and then everything had happened. And then a few months ago, he had said, not even a few months ago, he had said that the album is done, it's mixed, it's mastered, it's ready to go. So I knew it was just a matter of marketing and, you know, advertising for the album. I knew it was going to hit any day. Sure enough, you know, he, he teased it, prepare. I freaking went nuts. I flipped out, went on the next day, got the info, heard the single. Um, we are chaos. Here's the cover. That iconic paintings from Manson, the watercolor. The music video is out for We Are Chaos. It is the title track of the album. Um, September 11th. 
Pre-order now. You can get the CD, vinyl, and T-shirt bundle. I will be doing that. I'm a huge Manson fan. Um, I've probably seen Marilyn Manson at least 30 times. I don't know how many times. I, I At least. Let's see. I've seen him at big festivals. I've seen him at small festivals. I've seen him below zero. I had to wait for him in the freaking winter in the middle of a snowstorm. I've seen him in New York City at the Hammerstein Ballroom. I've seen him in Sayreville, New Jersey at the Starland Ballroom. I've seen him at OzFest a few times. I've seen him at other festivals. I've seen him on his own. I've seen him at Oh, what was the other one? I've seen him at Continental Arena, at the Meadowlands. Wow. Big shows, small shows. I've seen him in clubs. I've seen him in giant stadiums. Been there, done that with this guy. So I'm looking forward to this album. Now, impressions on what I heard? We Are Chaos is a hugely influenced David Bowie all the way vibe sound. Um, now, it's funny. It's it's hard to tell with him because we don't know how the album is going to turn out. It could be a roller coaster of an album with different kind of sounds, or it could be the this vibe, which would mean a, a total like Bowie vibe, which is which is awesome, which is fine. Um, it's not your typical heavy Manson, which you know. Really hasn't been for a while, uh, but there's been, you know, Heaven Upside Down had a lot of heaviness to it. But this could be, you know, a completely Bowie-influenced album, which this, if this song indicates what we're in for, this song has it, but I hear a lot of other things too. I hear like fucking The Cure, I hear like The Beatles, U2, fucking, I hear, I hear a lot. I'm I'm that way with music. I pick up a lot of shit, certain things that I hear. I hear a lot of that, but I hear a lot of Bowie, and that's no stranger to, to Manson. Fucking, he did that um, Golden Years cover years ago on that soundtrack. But um, that's awesome. The the fucking video is mind trippy, man. It's a mind trippy video. It's like, you know, pure stoner shit. Uh, but it's still like that classic Manson, though. That's the thing with him. It's like he could do like a 180 on something, but it's still got his stamp on it. It's still Manson, you know? Um, which is cool. But yeah, I can't wait for it. I mean, that's it, that's the interesting thing with him. You don't know like how the album is going to be. I'm, I'm thinking this, it might be like a Pale Emperor kind of a sound, which I absolutely loved Pale Emperor. I thought that was a really fucking awesome album for what it was, and... Um, but you don't know. It could be fucking. It could be more like you know, um, a heavier album with some tracks like this, some of the mellower, you know, psychedelic kind of vibe, or it could just be this kind of a themed album. Either way, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to um, hear. Um, September eleventh, we'll find out. I will be getting it and reviewing it and checking the album out. And like I said, I was waiting for this. Another one I was waiting for? Corey Taylor. Corey motherfucking Taylor. Um, this is a solo album, meaning this is not Slipknot and this is not Stone Sour. I believe he said this is his most upbeat and joyful album he's ever recorded, and I absolutely got those vibes from the song, the single that's out. There's actually two singles, and they're completely different, which means another thing. Where What direction is the album going to go? October 2nd, we'll find out. That's when this album comes out. I can't wait to fucking hear this album. Um, the single, um, CMFT, it gave me the vibe of like, you know, a kid rock kind of, devil without a cause kind of vibe. And the music video is fucking cool as hell. There is so many guest appearances, including Marilyn Manson, including Lars from Metallica and a ton of others. Um, it kind of reminded me of um, the Break Stuff video, music video from Limp Biscuit from back in the day. There's just so much on here. Um, a fun, cool, happy vibe video that gets you pumped up. But then, like the second single, um, 
Black Eyes Blue, completely different style, but loved the song. Absolutely loved the song, but different vibe. Completely toned down. Um, so I'm interested to hear the direction of this album. I think it might be just a mixed kind of an album. We'll see. But Corey Taylor, you never know with him. Um, the man that does it all, basically. So, finally got more information on the Corey Taylor album. And an album that came out of nowhere. Information of an album that came out of nowhere. Mastodon. Medium Rarities out September 11th. So, same day as Manson. A collection of rarities. Um, rare tracks. Unreleased and live. And one new song. Which is out now. You can hear it called Fallen Torches. You can listen to the song and you can pre-order Medium Rarities now. And here is the fucking cover. Fucking Mastodon. Here's the track listing. Now listen, here's the funny thing about this. I've actually been recently on a Mastodon binge. A Mastodon listening marathon. Because what happened was... Uh, with bands, I get on a kick where I just listen to every one of their albums, and I just I do it like every so often with a band. I was literally doing it with Mastodon, and this popped up. I said, "What perfect timing, right? Like a celebration." And I'm looking right now at these fucking track listings. Look at this: uh, Metallica cover, Iron Tusk live, Blood and Thunder live. The Flaming Lips cover, instrumental versions of songs, previously unreleased, Fallen Torches, it's the first track. Um, holy shit. Game of Thrones mixtape. Huh. So there you go, man. Fucking rare fucking B-side album from fucking Mastodon. How sick is that? While I was listening to Mastodon. Now, let's let's cut to my uh, face here, my ugly face, because I am super excited about those albums. Um, albums that we know are coming that we don't have a lot of information on yet, Rob Zombie. I know that Rob Zombie's album is coming because I remember reading quite a while ago, it might have even been the end of last year, that the album is done and mixed. I think maybe even John 5 was saying it. Um, So I'm not sure what's taking the time with that. But Rob Zombie should be popping out anytime soon also. So keep an eye out for him. Um, I heard Rammstein. Rammstein. Du. Du hast. Du hast mich. I heard Rammstein is working on one. Chevelle is working on one. Um, I know Chevelle's been working on it for a while. I know through 2019, I believe they've been working on this. So I'm not sure how how much they've gotten done this year. I but I know we we should at least hear an update soon. I heard. Oh, Seven Dust is working on one. I think I was reading on Blabbermouth that it's got a ways to go yet. Um. But there you go, Seven Dust. That's awesome. Um, I was just listening to that acoustics album. It's fucking insane. And the crazy thing of it is, was it was recorded at a studio that's not far from where I live here in Jersey. Awesome, right? Um, I was reading that Adema is working on a new album. I don't know if they were saying it was finished, but uh, the band Adema. If you remember them, they used to have um, Mark Chavez, Marky from, uh, he was the half brother of Jonathan Davis, and he fucking sounds just like him too. But I got to read up about that. See, see, see. Uh, he's not with them anymore, but um, he hasn't been with them for a long time. But um, I think they were doing something with somebody from Orgy. I don't know if it was Ryan Shuck. Or Jay Gordon. They were doing something with Orgy. Or they were in the band. I got to read about it. After this podcast, I got to go and read about Edema. But I remember reading something about new material coming out. Good band. Um, who else? And Deftones, which I heard September. 
I think Chino Marino was was saying he was aiming for a September release. But everybody's like waiting for info on that. So there you go. What have I been listening to behind the scenes? I would have to really make a whole separate episode uh, because my, I listen to fucking tons of music, not just metal. But specifically metal, I've been listening to a lot of doom metal. I've been listening to a lot of My Dying Bride, um, The Ghost of Orion. <sighs> Absolutely fucking amazing. Like, seriously. Like, what? Like, uh, Your Broken Shore? <sighs> what a masterpiece. Sorry. It just is. Um, Paradise Lost, Obsidian. I can't explain in words. I'll talk about these albums in the future on this show. Um, I've been listening to a thrash band called Havoc. Um, and I've been listening to another thrash band called Power Trip. They are fucking unreal. You want to talk about the energy in that band. They, they're just a kick-ass band. Thrash is alive and well, let me tell you. I've been listening to a lot of newer thrash bands. Um, What did I just get in the mail? Uh, I get so much. Oh, the new Static X. I've been listening to the new Static X with, with Wayne Static, with tracks uh, from him that they had found. And a band called Bury Tomorrow. The album, I believe, is Cannibal. Great, great, great band with catchy songs. Fucking amazing band, to be honest with you. And last but not least, what I've been listening to, um, I mean, I'm trying to filter it out as far as metal. The Black Dahlia Murder. Verminous? What a fucking album. Oh, and the new Mushroom Head. A Wonderful Life. Different. Good shit. So, like I said, I've been listening to a lot of new releases. I've been listening to a lot of music, a lot of genres of music, a lot of genres of metal. I've been discovering a lot of new music, a lot of new bands. I've been collecting a lot of CDs, a lot of vinyl. Um, it's hard to find record stores around here. But I do order a lot online. Um, it's 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 awesome. I, I you know I love collecting. I love going out there and searching for for hard to find stuff. I do a lot on eBay as well. But that's what I got to tell you about. Hey, a lot of news, right? A lot of info. Hopefully, more information is released soon with these bands that we're waiting for, and um, maybe another um, out of nowhere. Announcement from a band. That'd be awesome. Uh, oh, you know what? I also downloaded those free The Ghost CDs from uh, the free instrumental music from Nine Inch Nails. They made it free during the pandemic. You could go actually on their website and download the, the two albums. Really fucking cool shit to just vibe to when you're doing whatever. Really cool stuff. So Nine Inch Nails, go check that out. Again, I've been listening to a ton of stuff. I've been really reviewing and covering a lot of stuff. The album awards for this year is going to be a crazy, crazy discussion. Take care, guys, and hope to see you again soon on the next Talking Tunes with Sean. Be well, be safe, take care. <laughs>